day two of World Watercolour Month and the topic is passion and I am utterly passionate about watercolour. I love it as a medium. I love the fact that it flows and it gives you unexpected results and I mean just look at the yellows start to push into that green and that's what I love about watercolour. That's what really excites me and that's my passion. So I decided just to do this sort of doodly piece to express my passion for watercolour and I'm going to add pen as well because I'm also pretty passionate about line and wash. I'm using an A5 piece of watercolour paper, £140, with a cold press surface. That's a knot surface. I have drawn out a whole load of little circles that are touching each other. And what I just love is that while they are separate, there's a little bit of dry paper between the circles and nothing happens. But the moment they touch, one of the paints gets pushy and pushes into the other and you can encourage that by tilting your paper and letting that paint flow and I just think it's stunning. I mean look at that go into the blue over there on the right and then we've got a cobalt blue here which isn't a particularly pushy colour and the Prussian blue above it is pushing in and then this green gold, the Prussian blue again, is just pushing into to that little circle and I absolutely love it. So if you don't know what to paint but you just want to play or you want to get to know the characters of your paints and your different pigments, this is a lovely project to do and you could do something like this and turn it into a greetings cards or just do it for the sake of watercolour just for the passion of watercolour you could just play and be in the moment watching those paints whooshing into each other and playing around on the the paper and the secret is just to let it do its own thing. Don't try and make it happen because if you tilt it all too much, all the colours will just merge and mush into one. But if you let it do its own thing, then you will get fresh, gorgeous, transparent colour. At this point, I realised I probably hadn't done enough circles. I'd drawn them out first because... Uh, I couldn't draw perfect circles freehand. Well, I, I can, as I'm just proving now, all these last lot of freehand. But um, I just thought that it needed some more sort of size variation to sort of balance up the, the different sizes and the different colours. So I'm just filling things in and looking where things are still wet. You see, that very first circle I did was still wet, so that allowed the Prussian blue to, to whoosh in. I've dried them all off now and I've grabbed a fine liner pen, just a thin one, I think that's a point two, and starting to doodle on top of them. I'm struggling with this one the, because it's quite a fine pen, it can clog the nib. It won't damage it, you just have to scribble on a spare piece of paper to sort of unblock it, but I was struggling there. On some of the thinner paints, there wasn't any problem at all. If you struggle to think of different doodles, just Google it, oh, something like doodle circles, and you'll find all sorts of inspiration on, on the internet. I think it's fun to really vary them, but to repeat some of the patterns as well to help lead your eye around. If you want to, you could do realistic flower doodles or little botanical sketches whatever you want it's really how you're feeling that day you can be geometric you can be precise I actually like the pen work deliberately going outside of the paint so that's not just me being a bit uh, useless that was deliberate that I've done that and again I say just trying to vary the marks and get lots of patterns and textures and, and fun without obliterating all that gorgeous colour underneath you can use whatever pen you want to to do these line and wash um, doodles because we're not going to put any more colour on top. So it doesn't have to be waterproof. So these little fine liners are 
very convenient. But now I'm using an acrylic marker that I happen to have to add. Um, it is a gold one. It's not terribly metallic, but just adds a little bit of something else to go on. On this sort of star pattern, I'm just randomly filling in bits, some dots, some circles, just as the mood takes me. And it's fun to play. And I also sort of coloured in, so I've got some solid blacker areas because I thought that added a nice sort of punctuation to the piece. And, you know, in some areas I'm being careful, so I'm actually thinking about the pattern here and trying to colour in fairly carefully. In others, I'm a bit more slapdash. Again, it's entirely up to you and what you like. I'm using a slightly thicker pen just to make some of the lines a little heavier and, and give them more weight. And that's it. That's my passion. Watercolour, line and wash. Absolutely love it. And that's day two over and done.